Hey everyone. Last week I saw the Atari Age thread about the lack of ECS projects, and I totally agree. The ECS, and in particular the music synthesizer, really do not get enough love. As it happens, my latest project is based on the ECS, and it's reached a little bit of a milestone, so I thought I would share it with you. What we've got here is an ECS synthesizer running a hacked version of Josie's Simple Synthesizer demo from SDK 1600. It can be played just like normal. You might notice that it sounds a little bit different from the version in the SDK. The reason for this is because I've added a little bit of vibrato and decay to, make, to give the voice some character. Other than that, it's pretty standard. But that might be a little bit deceiving. You see, this setup is not running on an LTO flash cart or a cuttle cart. Instead, it's running off a prototype of IMDi, the Intellivision Music Digital Interface. IMDi is a combined MIDI interface and simple flash cart. As well as being connected to the Intellivision, you can see that it has a MIDI lead that snakes off to this digital piano. IMDi converts the ECS into a MIDI instrument. We can drive it from any MIDI source, like this. If that source can detect how hard the keys are struck, like this piano can, IMDi can use this information to tell the ECS how loud to play the notes, making it velocity sensitive, like this. And of course, like normal, we have the six voices of the ECS to play with. IMDi came about because of a chat I had with Paul of the Intellivisionaries about a month ago. He suggested it would be cool to have a MIDI link to an Intellivision so that it could be used as an instrument. Whilst I'm not a musician like Paul is, I am interested in music technology, and I thought, how hard can it be? Well, it turns out that if you use the Teensy 3.2 ARM development board, and you have a little bit of advice from people like Joe Z, it's easier to do this kind of thing than you might think. The software that runs on the Teensy is all written in C, using the Arduino development environment. It listens to the Intellivision's cartridge port through this old poker and blackjack board that's had its ROM removed. It mimics the game ROM just like any of the other game boards used by homebrew developers. IMDi also listens to the MIDI interface through this little lot here. I got this circuit direct from the Teensy website. The Teensy filters and translates the incoming messages before making them available to the master component at an address in its memory. From there, they're read by a patch to Joe's simple synthesizer and used to play notes just like the ECS keyboard. And that's pretty much it for the moment. Although the prototype hardware works, IMDi is not finished yet. I want to replace Joe's simple synthesizer demo with a more sophisticated piece of software. Sorry, Joe. I, in doing so, I'd like to see if Mattel could have made the ECS into a competitor to the square wave keyboards of the, of the 1980s that were made by the likes of Casio and Yamaha. Anyway, tell, let me know what you think. Cheers.